Right, we're expecting in the next hour or so, depending on how deliberations go, that ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa will deliver the closing address at the Virtual National Executive Committee, Lakhotla. The committee is the highest decision-making body in the ANC between conferences. The Lakhotla began on Friday to focus on key issues identified in the January the 8th statement. During the statement outlining the ANC's program for the year, the president said the party would focus on areas including the COVID-19 pandemic, economic recovery and reconstruction, local government and service delivery, as well as moving towards a better Africa and better world. Well, this was, of course, the first National Executive Committee meeting held without prominent member Jackson Mtembu, who died earlier this week. And, of course, we've been uh, talking about the funeral service as he was laid to rest earlier today. Let's speak now to ANC National Spokesperson uh, Pule Mabe. He joins us. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mabe. The, the business of the ANC still went on this weekend before and after the funeral. Uh, but was it uh, very hard for, for the people attending the NEC Lakhotla with, I guess, a metaphoric empty chair in the room uh, belonging to Jackson and Tembo? Uh, well, uh, afternoon and uh, afternoon to your viewers. Of course, uh, the mood was uh, very sombre today, uh, quite unusual. We recalled the time when we had to, was Jackson is actually the second national executive uh, committee member to have passed on since we were elected at the 54th National Conference. The same would have happened uh, when we lost Comrade uh, Edna Mulewa at that time because uh, we were not under the new normal. We had to put on light a candle next to the chair where Comrade Edna sat. And throughout the proceedings of the National Executive Committee, because coincidentally it also happened when we were to hold our own uh, NEC meeting. In this instance, we were also going to be holding our own NEC Lohota because Comrade Jackson passed on, on a Thursday when the NEC Lohota was to resume on Friday. Uh, it was not an easy one. Each one of uh, the over 100 and uh, something members of the NEC, including those that would have been invited to attend the National Executive Committee, Lohota, because this is quite an extended sitting. It brings members of the Alliance, Civil Society, the ANC Youth League, the UMA, and SLEEK, uh, tribal uh, leaders of uh, uh, tribal councils. So each one of the comrades who are, who are attending this session, this uh, Lohota, which is uh, still ongoing, would effectively reflect on the different experiences that they would have had, or their different encounters that they would have had with their comrade uh, Jackson. Uh, he gave his all to the movement. He was nothing outside the ANC. Yeah. He was a very humble soul, uh, quite loving. Uh, had declared, uh, you know, had given himself the name of a handsome, a handsome guy. You know, I mean, almost every second, uh, Keda, I mean, Comrade Nunvola was recalling the other day that uh, Comrade Jackson never had an issue of uh, just coming and uh, kissing Kedas and moving on. You know, this was uh, Jackson uh, um, time before you. This was uh, the Mvelasi we knew. Yeah. Uh, during by-elections campaigning, you would be seen and far be found on the ground uh, with our Kedas uh, mobilizing and canvassing for votes. There's one of his emotional photos doing rounds on social media platforms where he is captured sitting in a buggy with ANC volunteers uh, out in uh, Umsunduzi in Peter Marisbeck uh, doing the work of the organization. He loved this organization. He understood that he can only claim to be a complete individual if the ANC was doing what society expects from yeah. it. M Mr. Mabe, um, one thing that really stood out for me uh, at the conference that ushered in Cyril Ramaphosa as the new ANC leader, uh, days before, Jackson Mtembu was not sitting on the fence at all. Uh, he, ha he was firmly in support of Ramaphosa, saying that was what the ANC needed. Um, completely unequivocal. Uh, and I'm sure, I mean, we, we saw the tribute earlier from the president. This must have been uh, a few awful days for, for President Ramaphosa. Tell us a bit more about what he uh, said, how he paid tribute uh, at this NEC meeting. Well, President uh, Ramaphosa reflected uh, 
on his relationship with uh, Comrade Jackson uh, in government, in the ANC, and someone is re regarded as a dependable ally, not beyond being a comrade, had become someone he could uh, call or refer to as a friend. Comrade Jackson understood why the ANC must be united, regardless of the views that he might have held at conference. Once a leadership was elected in office, Comrade Jackson would be amongst the very first in the collective to make sure that he drives a message that says, let us put away our own differences that would have prevailed when we went to conferences in terms of who we wanted to lead. Reminded us that the ANC, beyond individuals, the ANC is being led by a program. That's why the maximum program, the minimum program of the ANC, which is the Freedom Charter, still find resonance even today when those that went to that historic Congress of the people are no longer alive because it would have been men and women, men like Jackson, women like uh, other Sina movement, uh, Charlotte Mateke, whom we have declared this, whom in his name we have declared the year uh, 2021. They did everything to make sure that uh, we can live to renew and unite the Af National Congress. So when President Ramaphosa rose to speak about the Jackson he came to know and work with, that almost uh, th that was almost a reflection in each one of us who have interacted with Comrade yeah. Jackson. I mean, in my own role as national spokesperson, I would have uh, interacted and learned a lot from this former spokesperson, former national spokesperson of the African National Congress, who was quite a seasoned communicator, who understood the importance of building relations with the media and knew that uh, the media have got a role. He always said, Pune, remember, the media has got a role to push hard. You also have got uh, a role to push back. When they push forward, push back. Yeah, and indeed, he was a, a very prominent communicator in, in the ANC spokesperson from 1995 to 97 under Nelson Mandela, 2009 to 2014. Mr. Mabe, we have to talk about something else that maybe um, uh, took a, a marred uh, the, the proceedings somewhat today. We have footage tonight of the Premier of Mpumalanga not wearing a mask, walking some distance, even hugging officials uh, not wearing a mask. Uh, we also have, have a statement uh, that, that's come out recently uh, from her office, uh, apparently that says uh, that she was not even aware she wasn't wearing a mask. So, so that changes things that, that it fell or, or something. Uh, let, let's just look at the, the footage to show viewers what we're talking about here. Uh, this is Premier Rafilwe Mtswene Tsipane and not wearing a mask during those proceedings today. Uh, do you know um, about her excuse? Or are you questioning it at all uh, as the ANC as well? Uh, well, uh, we have seen a statement that uh, the, 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 the Office of the Premier had issued. Uh, we have also reflected on this specific incident, felt that uh, uh, it was a bit unfortunate and, uh, and that uh, uh, an unreserved uh, apology uh, is necessary in this instance and I uh, hope that uh, in taking the nation into her own confidence uh, we'll be able to assure people that uh, governments drive against this uh, deadly coronavirus pandemic is not in any way going to be undermined or compromised by any one of our actions yeah. and that all of us are committed to the fight we want to save lives. Sexually, it is at the core of the campaign of the African National Congress. Amongst the four themes that we shall have uh, convened uh, this Lekota uh, on, who was uh, really defeating uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And we can only defeat the COVID-19 pandemic if we follow the protocols. So one of the critical uh, prescripts of those protocols is to make sure that we wear our masks at all times, make yeah. sure that we maintain social distancing. Uh, these are things that people can be able to see, analyze, and relate with. And when people don't feel or see those things being done by ourselves, 
they somewhat compromise or undermine the very message that we want to take out there. We hope and believe that uh, the government of the people of Mpumalanga and on behalf of the premier of the province would uh, make sure that they apologize to the nation, something they've done, but they uh, do so unreservedly. Make sure that uh, they, 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 they issue an, an apology that is not even driven by any other motivation, but understanding that uh, it is the people and the people only whose pride we must put first. And it is the people that must enjoy our own confidence out of yeah. our own actions. The people must know that we are not going to let our guard down as their leadership in government and here in the African National Congress. It was quite Mr. unfortunate. Mabe, okay, let me come hope, in there yes. because she has apologised. We, we put up that statement. We have now verified that the, the Premier herself has apologised and said she was um, completely unaware, blissfully unaware, that she was not wearing a mask. My question to you is, uh, does the ANC find that plausible um, or will you interrogate it further? Um, uh, let me ask you, are, are you um, ever... Uh, thinking that that you're not wearing a that you're wearing a mask when you're in fact not. Uh, well, if I speak for myself, uh, I, I make sure that uh, at all material times uh, I put on a mask. I mean, we are uh, all first getting used to this new normal. It is not an easy one, but we ought to be seen doing it for the sake of ourselves. Yeah. Our own families. Okay, let me ask again, Mr. Poulet, do you find her excuse plausible? And the we with. Do you find her excuse well, plausible? Well, uh, well I think uh, she she had uh, uh, issued an apology, like you had said. I've already said that the, in, in our own reflection, we found this incident uh, quite unfortunate. And uh, the fact that uh, there was an apology out there, which we believe that uh, such an apology uh, should uh, actually not be given with uh, any forms of. Uh, reservations or motivations it must just be an apology to the public i mean when any leader whether it's the premier of Bumalanga or any one person when they come out to apologize when they own up to uh, their mistake uh, that should be quite uh, encouraging what would have been a challenge is when uh, the premier didn't come out to own up to that kind of an incident the fact that she's coming out and uh, owning up what is important in the nc is if I've done something wrong or something that goes against the wishes of the people, something that puts that or something that uh, compromises the very message that the organization is trying to communicate out there, making sure that it galvanizes society to understand why we need to be together in fighting this pandemic. Okay. And Mr. such Mr. leaders Mr. Mabe, take you, out you because there is no way. I can tell you now, let, let me just whether you I, find yeah, it plausible or not, yes, her yes, excuse. I, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, tr I, I, I'm, I'm trying to make a point here, you know, because uh, remember that in answering your question, I'm not going to answer your question on a yes or no, because uh, I don't think that is the intention. All I'm saying here is that uh, the premier of Mpumalanga has come out and owned up to that kind of an action together with their own uh, government in the province. I can tell you now that the premier, know, having known her myself, is not someone who, who can deliberately come out and not wearing a mask. There, there is no way. Comrade, uh, 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 Comrade Refilo, as Premier of Mpumalang, will never engage in, in that kind of an activity deliberately to undermine uh, the compact that government is trying to build with the people. And we are quite encouraged by the fact that she has come out and owned up to that kind of an error. All right, thank you very much. That was the ANC spokesperson, uh, Pule Mama.